saved. Now, I want you to think about that for a minute because that's, uh, I'm talking to a few people in here today. If you don't love, let me say it again because the people aren't listening maybe. If you don't love the people in the house of God as much as you do your natural family, and in the way I believe it, even more. Yes. But if you don't love them as much as you love your natural family, you need to get saved to understand what salvation is. Everyone in the room with your hands lifted up and your eyes closed. Everyone in the room, please. As you're praying for your brother, your sister, if you have one, now I want you to reverse it for a second and pray for your mother or your father. In my case, I can't pray for my father, but, and maybe some of you can't. But pray just for a moment. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. <clears throat> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, if you need healing in your body, lift your hand straight up over your head and say, Father, Father. I can't hear you. Father, Father. I, receive. I receive. Say it again. I receive, I receive. My, healing my healing this moment. This moment. Now, if you did that and you received it, I want you to come up here and hit the altar quick. Right now. Come on. Underlay, underlay. Hit the altars quickly. Now the rest of you that are not at the altars, come up here and lay your hands on them. Come on. <clears throat> here, maybe they didn't hear me. The rest of you that are not up here, come up here and lay hands on the ones that are here at the altar. Come quickly. There you go. Lay your hands on them. Pray over them a minute. <clears throat> hey, you might get a transfer of wealth. Keep praying for a moment. <clears throat> Pray over them for a moment. Pray over them for a moment. <clears throat> Mighty God. <coughs> Mighty God. Keep praying for a moment. Everyone in the room, pray for them. Jesus. Jesus. Woo. Mighty God. Mighty God. There's two people that are up here right now. They're fe you're feeling, I can feel this. It's hitting me hard. You're feeling so defeated. Let that thing lift off you right now. Let it lift off you right now. Say, I will not. I will not be defeated. A little louder. I will not be defeated. Pray. Just keep praying for a moment. <laughs> Woo, when you're done with one, move to the next one. Don't stick with one too long. Keep moving around. Keep moving around for a minute. Keep moving around for a minute, quickly. This could be life or death maybe for someone. We don't know. Someone could have got a bad word from a physician. We don't know. Just keep praying for a minute. <coughs> Mighty God, mighty God. I can feel the wind shifting. I can feel the wind shifting. I can feel the wind shifting. Keep praying for a minute. I can feel the wind shifting. Running my office. Stand in front of my desk. Quickly, brother, quickly. <coughs> Woo! Mighty God. 
Move around, move around. Move around. Don't stick with one person long. I only want you praying in the spirit. Remember that. Or you can pray in English. for a minute. Somebody's making a solid decision right now and they want to make the right decision. God's going to move on them to make the right decision. They're making the right decision right now as you lay hands on them and pray. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. They're making the right decision. They're making the right decision. They're making the... Jackie, I want you to come down here a minute. You're going to have to come down. If you don't want to come back up, you can sit down there. I don't want you to, but come right around here, honey. There you go, Jackie. There you go. <coughs> Woo, mighty God. Just for another moment. Just for another moment. Man, I tell you, I really feel the anointing of the Lord to do this right now. I really feel God to do this right now. Keep praying for a moment. Somebody's in the valley of decisions right now. Just keep praying just for another moment. God's doing something right now. God's calling right now. The anointing of the Lord is upon them right now. They're making a decision that will alter and change their course, change their life. Maybe forever, I don't know. Keep praying just for a moment. Let the power of God run through your hands. Mighty God, mighty God, <clears throat> mighty God. You guys, I didn't ask you to talk, I asked you to pray. Quit talking now. I keep praying. Quit talking. I'm going to tell everyone in this room just something. Listen, I want you to listen to me very closely. Services go a certain way for a reason. And the mature people that are in the, in the service catch it. They get what's going on. But the ones that are not mature, they don't understand what's happening. Why is it going? It is going the, exactly the way it was laid out by God. That's the way the service went. Keep praying for a moment. So when you buck against the services, you're bucking against the movement of God. Keep praying for a minute. <clears throat> They're not going to all go the same way. <clears throat> They're not going to all go the same way. Jackie, right down here quickly. I want you to lay hands on this young lady right here. Are you, somebody told me you've gotten pregnant. Is that right? Did you know you didn't get pregnant until you came here? Did you know that? Did you know the day I called you two up was the beginning of your life? Yes. Do you, did you know that? Lay your hands on her and pray over her. Yes. And I feel the Holy Spirit. I believe God's telling me something. I see you working with young people. I see the anointing of the Lord anointing you right now to work with young people. Now, don't meditate on that yet. Don't think about it a lot because it's not right now. But I see God doing that for you. I see you working with young people. Bringing them out of the fire. Bringing them out of the pit of hell. Woo, mighty God. Keep praying for another moment. Let the anointing of the Lord touch you right now. Rebellion, get out of this room. Keep praying. <coughs> Keep praying.
Keep praying for a minute. Switch. Go grab somebody else and pray for them. Don't stick with one person too long. Mighty God, <coughs> mighty God, mighty God. We're... <coughs> you learn anything today? <coughs> it's all a learning experience. You got to remember that. Woo! <coughs> mighty God, mighty God. If we could get just pray for another second. I don't know how to do this with it. I don't embarrass him. Jackie. <laughs> Woo, mighty God. Mighty God. Right here, hon. That's my wife's gonna lay my her hands on you, hon. Mighty God. Grendel? Grendel! 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 Get up and come up here. Right here. I ask for prayer for the people at the altar. Right here. Right there. Lay your hand on her. Brother, prayer for people at the altar. <clears throat> you know, the Bible says if you lay hands on someone and pray for them, you might even get healed as you're doing it. <clears throat> and what happened to you today? Why, why weren't you singing? Couldn't make it on time? Just for another moment. <coughs> One more, girls. One more. You too. Right here. <coughs> Zach. Eyes closed just for another moment. Keep praying just for a second. Don't let your faith get weary. Don't lose faith. Who am I talking to? Don't lose faith. You got to keep your faith high, what you're going through. You got to keep your faith high. You got to stay strong in the Lord and the power of His might. <clears throat> Don't lose your faith. <clears throat> One more minute. <clears throat> One more minute.
Now, I want everyone that's in this room, everyone that's in the room, if you could do this, I want you to walk over and lay hands on Cheryl real quick. Everyone in the room, go lay hands on her. <coughs> her and Roger both. <coughs> Jackie, you stand there in front of her. Everyone, lay your hands on her. Whoo! <coughs> I, I don't want you to ask God for anything. I want you to thank God. As you lay your hands on her, say, Thank you, Father, for the healing power of Jesus Christ. <coughs> If you can't get up there and lay your hand on her, lay your hand on somebody that's got their hand laid on somebody else that's got their hand laid on her. Thank him. Thank him for a moment. 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 Thank him. <coughs> Give him praise for a moment. <coughs> Thank him for a second. <coughs> Thank him for a moment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> Everyone stay in the sanctuary. Don't go next door. Everybody in the sanctuary. I don't even know if they even go next door anymore, do they? <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, hang on to her, brother. <laughs> I see the anointing hit her. She'd like to come out of that chair. Thank you, Lord. Two days. <coughs> huh? Two days. <coughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. <coughs> oh, I should have put who? I should have put who? Romans 7, Romans chapter 7, verses 15 through 25. And we're going to read this slowly. I want everybody to just kind of suck these scriptures in and just look at them. <coughs> turn your mic on. Oh, they're doing double duty. I, oh, I thought maybe you didn't turn it on. No, mine's on. You've been known to do that. <laughs> Haven't you been known to not turn it on? I have, yes. Huh? I have, yes. You have? Guilty. What? Guilty. Guilty? For that which I do allow not. Okay, hold on. Something's wrong with her mic. Talking. I'm here again. For that which I do, for that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. No monitor. Give her a little monitor. <clears throat> but what I hate, that do I. Now, stop. Stop. I want everyone to read it. <coughs> Everybody. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. Everybody, is it everybody awake? Yes. Read this scripture again. 
<coughs> for that which I do I allow not, for what I would, that do I not, but what I hate, that do I. Next verse. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth now, in me. Now everybody read 17. <coughs> now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Verse 18. <coughs> For I know that in me, that is in my flesh. Say in me. In me. Say it again. Say in me. In me. In me. In me. Okay. Dwelleth no good thing. Nothing good dwelling in me. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. Now I want you to read 18 to him again. Everybody read 18. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, in my flesh. dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. I can't find it. I want to do good, Pastor Mark, but can't find it. Verse 19. For the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. Uh -oh. <clears throat> read, read that verse again. For the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. That's what I do. Verse 20. <clears throat> now if I do it that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Verse 21. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Read this verse back to me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. The law, that's the law of sin. Verse 22. <coughs> For I delight in the law of God after the after inward man. After the inward man. guy. So the inward guy's like in the law of God, but the outward guy don't care much about it. Verse 23. <coughs> But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my so members. I got a law, he says, so now I see another law that is in my members, warring against the law of my mind. So I got a law, warring against another law. Verse 24. <coughs> oh, wretched, oh, wretched man. man. Now he's say, here's what he's saying about himself. Because I can't do right. O oh, wretched, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of death? Verse 25. <clears throat> I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. So stop right there for a moment. That was the last verse, right? <clears throat> okay. That's Romans 7. Romans chapter 7. Verse tw uh, 15 through 25. So he stops. Read 25 again. <clears throat> he I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. And then all of a sudden the writers put chapter 8, verse 1. <clears throat> there is therefore now no... Whoa, now you can't go past this fast. <clears throat> you can't go past it fast. The, mess the name of the message this morning, which I've had ready for about a week and a half is this. Who or what is my authority? Who? So now he goes like this. After reading through that part, now he goes like this. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, colon, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Now he's saying, oh wretched man that I am, I got all this stuff happening. Then he says in chapter 8, now there's no condemnation to them that walk after the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. <clears throat> For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has, has made, made me free from the law of sin and death. Look at your neighbor sitting there next to you and say the law that has always worked in you and around you Christ has defeated it. It's dead. Verse 3. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. Now stop for a minute. The law, the commandment. The law. I command you to do this. This is a command. If you don't live right, 
you die. That's the Old Testament. If you don't do it right, you're going to die. They didn't have the Holy Spirit inside them. Start up the top again. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through weak the flesh. Weak the law. It's weak. I can't fulfill it with my flesh. I cannot make myself obey the law. I can't do that. So it's so much easier to live by the Spirit, isn't it? Yes. Isn't it easier to live by the Spirit? Yes. Well, okay. All right. Okay. Verse, so God sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful, in the likeness of it. In the likeness of sinful flesh. In the likeness of it. He didn't say he had sinful flesh. He said in the likeness of sinful flesh. So he looked like you and I, but he wasn't you and I. Okay, go. And for sin, condemns sin in the flesh. So he comes and he condemns sin without law. He's condemning sin in the spirit. Verse 4. <clears throat> that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the, but spirit. After the spirit. So instead of adhering to the law, making me do it, I do it now because the Holy Spirit's moving inside me to do it. I quit beating myself. I quit condemning myself. And now this Holy Spirit has arisen inside me. I can do it. It's very simple. Instead of being a flesh beater, you become a spirit man. Read it to him again. Four. <clears throat> that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Verse five. <clears throat> for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Let's stop just for a moment. Remember we were talking about law, law and a member, and law fighting. So he says... For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of it, they keep a mind of it. But they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. So you have a choice. You can go with the beating of the mind, or you can go by the leading of the Spirit. The beating of the mind is constantly and always will beat you. You can never be right before God. Never. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how you sacrifice. It doesn't matter how much, how, whatever you do, you cannot be good enough. You'll never be good enough. So he says, if you want to mind that thing, you go ahead and mind it. But he says, here's what I want you to do. I want you to mind the Spirit. For they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit, verse 6. For to be, car to be carnally minded, carnally minded. Say carnally minded. minded. Read it. Everyone read this verse. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life what? and okay. peace. What's a carnal mind? I got to keep doing, I've, I've done this and I've done that. I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to do this right. I'm trying to do that right. Instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to have right away and walking in Him. What is walking in Him? Being with Him all the time. Praying through Him all the time. That's what walking in the Spirit is. I'm walking in the Spirit. And I will not let my mind, my, my natural lawish mind win. Amen. Give God praise for a minute. I won't let it win. The, the people that are always fighting like that have no peace. Wave at me. Look at the person beside you. Ask them a question. Say, do, do you, you have, have peace? peace? Can you sleep at night? Do you have peace? Is your home filled with peace? You'll know if your home's filled with peace when it becomes not filled with peace and you knew there was peace there and then it's gone. Yeah. Or you'll know your, ha your home has peace when you walk into another home that don't have peace. Yeah. Yeah. When there's, where there's reveling and fighting and confusion going on, you'll feel it the minute you walk in the door. Well, the person that's mining that, that carnal mind that is constantly feeding that, I got to do this to be better. I got to do this to be good. Instead of allowing the Holy Spirit, they never walk in peace. Because you can't be good enough. You can't be good enough, Jackie. But to be spiritually minded, to be spiritually minded, say life, 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 life and peace. peace. Seven. <laughs> because the carnal mind is enmity against God. How, how's the enemy, how is the carnal mind an enemy against God? It's always trying to get you to think you can better yourself and better your position in God. You can't do it. You can't do it. It's impossible. But your mind is always wanting to go there. How can I stop this to get this? 
How can I do this to get this? He says, if you'll walk in the Spirit, you'll get it all. Amen. Lift your hands up. Yes. Say, if I walk in the Spirit, yes. I'll, get it all. I'll get it all. Mary, two married people. You get two married people. One's always more spiritual than the other. Always. You can't have two spiritual heads in the same home. Nothing to get done. One of them's got to sit down to pay the bills. Well, the other one, the spiritual one's always beating up on the one that ain't spiritual. And if you drug them into your world, nothing to get done. Nothing. The car wouldn't even get filled. I don't know. Well, how do you know that? Because if you're spiritual minded, you just don't get spiritually minded on Thursday and Sunday. You got to be that all week long. Amen. So for, for me to walk in the spirit, Jackie's got to walk in the flesh. <laughs> to a point, that's true. It's not, that's true. She's my strength. I'm not saying she's not spiritual, you guys. I'm just saying one of them's got to be more spiritual than the other. Nothing's going to get done, man. Utilize each other's strengths. Well, the carnal mind don't tell you that. One day you're going to find out exactly what I'm talking about. You do? Well, the carnal mind's always beating you up. Why ain't that person spiritual? And then, then they try to drag you to get you spiritual. And the one's going, kicking and fighting and screaming and fighting. I don't want to do it. <laughs> and then that they're, that they're filled with demons. It's just the way it is. It's the way, it's the way it is. You can't have two superstars in the same family. Nope. You can't do it. You can't have two spiritual people running at a height. I can't make myself do th two things at the same time. She always says that to me. Do I have your attention? <laughs> well, you read, read, listen, you read Proverbs 31 about a Proverbs 31 woman. And the man's going, yeah, put her out to work, put her out to do everything, man, and I'll lay back. A woman can do everything, 50 things at once. That's the way God made them. A man can't. I got one thing, man, sitting in front of me. It's all I can do to put a nut on a bolt. And she's trying to ask me how to fix the dishwasher when I'm trying to fix, fix the oven. I, it don't work. And I'm trying to apply it, and it, it just don't work. God, help us. Lift your hands up and say, Lord, help us. Lord, help us. We need supernatural ability. <laughs> well, can't God do that for you? No. It's just the way it is, man. Well, that, that's a flip, too, because the women can be the super leader. What's that lady that's on TV preaching all the time? Joyce Myers. Well, what's her husband doing? He's in the background doing all the physical stuff. He's making all the appointments. He's doing all this and all that. I'd forget. She's got to write it down on the calendar. I won't even know it exists. Mark, go to the bank for me on the way to church. Here's the check. Go do this. Here, go, to the, go do this. On the way to, as you go down to pray. No problem, honey. I'll get down to church. She'll call. Did you do it? Do what? Do what? Did you pay what I told you? To, I gave you a check. What'd you do with it? It's got to be out in the truck. <laughs> You'll find that out. I got, listen, I had 20 years on a job, 22 years. She had 36. And all of a sudden it got to the point where I couldn't function. I had to give up one of them. I couldn't function. Because this one's calling me this way, and for me to go this way spiritually, I had to, then I, Monday morning I had to walk back into the natural. I'm going, wow, I can't, blah, 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 blah. I can't do, this is impossible to do. God says, you should have left two years ago. <laughs> it's hard to do that. And when you, you'll know when God's calling you. You'll know it. Things get hard to function. And the spiritual thing is, oh, man. But you can't leave somebody destitute. 
You're married. You can't look at your wife and say, is she not working? She's taking care of the kids. Or do, Proverbs 31. She's doing whatever, taking care of the kids. You come in one day, oh, I'm quoting my job. You are? How are we going to eat? God will supply. <laughs> he will? <clears throat> Next verse. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Always running in the head. Anybody ever have a problem turning your head off? Because yes. Yes. it's running all the time? Yes. Well, it ain't running spiritually. It's running about something else. Yes. Get the laundry done. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to run here. I got to go there. I got to make this guy an appointment. I got to do this. I got to do that. Whew. Running all the time. How do you shut it off? Pray, it'll shut off. Or like some people say, open the Bible and read one chapter. It'll shut right off. <clears throat> Verse 9. <clears throat> but ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. But you got, hey, you guys are in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell say in you. Say the Spirit of God is dwelling inside me now. He's inside me. And the only way I can get him to shut up is to turn my mind on. You turn the mind on and start fighting with him. I ain't got time for that. I don't have time to do this. Finish it. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. He's none of his. And if See, Christ... If they don't have the spirit of Christ, he doesn't belong. You can't make him belong. You can't make him belong. You get saved. When you get saved, you can't make your... You can't go grab your friends and make them do what you just did. I tried that. It don't work. Almost got divorced the first week. She looked at me and she said, it's, it's, my, it's me or your friend. That's what I was telling you. I got rid of my friends. The, when we got married, they were gone. She said, it's me or the friends. I said, well, I got to go. <clears throat> and if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. You know why people hang around with their old friends? Their mind's still working. Well, can I have this and do this, what I used to do? You can't do it. It's impossible. You can't do it. <clears throat> and I guess you've probably seen that, huh? We got married. Oh, you can't do that. You can't have those friends. They're not what you are. I had one friend. He came. He, he did get saved. He played a little harmonica. And you know what God did with this guy? Took this guy and moved him from Michigan, which he had never been out of Michigan his whole life, and took him down to my family's home state, Decatur, Alabama. And I found out he just died, what, a year and a half ago? <clears throat> Finish it. But if, the, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus yes, he from is. The, the... say Yes, he is in me. Yes, is. Say it again. Say, yes, he is in me. Yes, Look at the person next to you and say, yes, he is. Yes, yes, yes he, he is. is. Yes, He's inside me. He's inside me. <clears throat> Finish it. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Yes. Twelve. <clears throat> Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. Now remember, we're still talking about the mind. It is, it is fleshly. The mind is. You've got to renew it and control it. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. 14. <clears throat> For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Say that again. <clears throat> For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now say this with me. Say there, there is, is therefore, therefore now, now no condemnation, no condemnation. to them that walk in the Spirit, that walk in the Spirit. For the law was weak. My mind is weak. But I got to walk in the Spirit, renew my mind, and I am the winner. I am the winner. So here we go now. New Testament law. Say, or Old Testament say law. I was made to be right. New Testament I freely move in the Spirit to do it. Say freely. Say I have a better covenant now. I have a better sacrifice. 
there's supernatural principles that I can adhere to spiritually? See if, yeah, there you go. Somebody call it. <laughs> and now I look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith. I don't listen to others. Now, I'm not talking about people that are in charge or God has placed in charge over you. Remember, we're still talking about the mind. Say this with me. Say, I do not listen to others that bring disappointment. I don't even listen to myself because I'll be discouraged. I look unto Jesus, my delight. Give God praise for a minute. <clears throat> So he says this now, God says this now, for the joy that was set before me, the joy that was set before me, I despised, or I took the shame, I took the beating, I took the diseases to give you life. So when you say you don't have life, you have life. Philippians 2, 5 through 11, follow me. Philippians 2, 5 through 11. Let this, Let mi this mind, which was in Christ Jesus, verse 6, who being in, a, in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal now with you God. Now, re read this again. Start with verse 5. Start with verse 5. People take this and they, they I've, this message, I've heard it everywhere, that we are God's. No, we're not. Verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also, also in, in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Verse 6. Who, who being in the form of God, thought it robbery, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Verse 7, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. Amen. He was equal with God. Yeah. But he took himself as the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. Verse 8, pick it up and read it. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of Verse the cross. Nine. Wherefore God also had highly... Highly exalted him. Yes. Gave him a name that's above every name. That's the name we use right now. Yes. Look at your neighbor. Look at the person next to you. And say, my mind, my mind will, not win. will not win. Go. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth. Read verse 10 again. Do not flip. Read verse 10 again. That at the name of Jesus. That at just his name. Say his name. His name. Say his name. His name. Say his name. His name. Every knee. Every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Thank you. Somebody lift your hands up and say, I have a heavenly father and I have a brother that I can go to in, the na in his name and receive everything containing to life. Give him praise for a minute. <laughs> Hebrews 12 2 Hebrews 12 2 <clears throat> Hebrews 12 there we go looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despised the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God your mind can be controlled <clears throat> Hebrews 12 3 next verse <clears throat> For consider him that endured such contradiction him, Jesus Christ. of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Lift your hands up for a minute, moment, everybody in the church. Say, I freely do it. Freely do Say, it's freely, given. it's freely given. I freely serve God. Freely serve Say it again. I freely serve God. Freely serve I'm not God. made to serve God. But yet God says this to us. This, is a, this is, goes against some people's minds, but go home and fight your mind. <clears throat> Look in Scripture and renew it and find your mind. There are duties to faith. Somebody say this with me. Say, there are duties, there are duties. to my faith. My faith has to be working at all times. Number one. Say, number one. Number one. Turn to the person next to you and say, I have to. Love you. Love you. I, have no I have no choice. My mind may jump on me and say no. But I don't listen to my mind. <laughs> my spirit is the one that rules. <laughs> Somebody say, say this would be, say number two. 
I have to show hospitality to strangers. Lift your hands up for a minute. That totally against, goes against what's happening today. Don't, nobody will talk to you. Nobody will look at you. If you say something to somebody, they think you're up to something. The Bible says you have to show hospitality to every stranger. That's an act of faith. Got a problem renewing my mind in that area, Pastor Mark. We'll get it renewed right now. Uh, Hebrews chapter 13 says this. You have to, we have to as the body of Christ, remember prisoners. That's, the scripture says that. Well, I don't know if I want to renew, move, renew my mind to that, Pastor Mark. I'm telling you what the Bible says. The Word of God says you have to, we have to remember them. And how do we remember them? I don't know. Sit down and write them a letter. Uh, uh, we've, had, we've bought TVs for people in prison. The Bible says, number four, let marriage be held in honor, obeying God. I'm going to leave that right there. Just think about it. Let marriage be held in honor. Let your mind go. Obeying God. The Bible says in Philippians, Jackie, this is an act. This is areas we have to renew our mind. You, I can, just let me go on for a minute. Let your life be free. Say, let my life be free from the love of what? Who said that? Who said that? You're the only one that said that. Yell it out. <clears throat> In other words, don't always be looking for somewhere to get rich. Amen. Don't always be looking for something you got to get or you got to, I got to have this uh, apartment building or I'm not right. I'm not telling you not to walk through doors when they're not open. I'm telling you don't make it your goal to do that. And that's going against the, it, the, 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 that's going against the world. The world's always got to make that, that money. And so do we. The church has to have money. I understand that. But don't, don't fall in love with it. And don't fall in, way, don't fall in love with ways to get it. And the, the next one is, don't be carried away. And boy, the church is carried away, I'll tell you. Don't be carried away with strange teachings. Hebrews 13.9. Hope I wrote that down right. 13.9. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. Now this scripture is talking about exactly what we're talking about. Exactly. Let your heart be established with grace. And we know what that is. It's unmerited favor. Not with what you can eat or you can uh, uh, do or what you can uh, uh, possibly get or what you can stop doing. Grace covers it all. Say, grace covers it all. Grace covers it all. <laughs> wow, Jackie. 13, 17. We'll just read it. <clears throat> Obey them that have rule Whoa. over you and Whoa. submit yourself. Now, th this is a good day to do this. I've had this ready for about, two, I think, about two weeks. Remember I told you that. I said, you said, you're going to do that today? I said, yeah, I think the Holy Spirit released me to do this. <clears throat> obey, obey. See, the world's not working that way. <clears throat> they don't want nothing to do with us. Obey them that have the rule over, over you. Submit. That's hard to submit. Isn't that hard to submit? Not for me, Pastor Mark. Yeah, it is. You get in a place where you, you need to submit. I mean, and you're not submitting. You can't. It's hard to do. <clears throat> submit yourselves, for they watch for your emotions. For they watch over your emotions. So it ain't just me that's working on this. The Spirit of the Lord's working inside you. You're reading the Word to renew your mind. You got people that are in charge praying over you to bring your emotions into check. The soulish realm. As that they may, must give an account. I... 
must give an account. An account. Go, Jackie. That they may do it with joy and Whoa. not with grief. Whoa. So I can do it with joy and not walk in here and go, God. The rebellion. Father, it's, you said rebellion's like witchcraft. I'm walking into this witchcraft and this rebellion. I don't want to pray for these guys. I want to do it with joy. Don't you? Don't you want to do it with joy? That they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is unprofitable for you. Why? Why? Tells you right there. So I back off now. I can't, man. I, this grief is killing me, man. There, people are driving me nuts. I ain't praying for them no more. You know what the scripture says? When the minister gets like that, he just turns you over to Satan for the destruction of your flesh, or for the destruction of your flesh, so your soul may be saved. <laughs> Lift your hands up. Say, Lord, Lord, I didn't know that the minister had that kind of stuff going on. <clears throat> now, that don't happen here, guys. This is all for the Internet. <clears throat> Praise God. <laughs> Verse 18. <clears throat> Pray for us. Oh, for I we... bet. Yeah, I bet he said, whoo. <laughs> man, <laughs> the writer of this. Whoo, pray for us, man. <laughs> Please pray for us. Go. <clears throat> For we trust we have a good conscience in all things willing to live honestly. Yes. Yeah. Somebody lift your hands up and say, we're going to help the man of God. <laughs> say it again. We're going to help the man of God. Yes. Praise God. <clears throat> so here I go. <clears throat> a lady come in one day <clears throat> and she said, Pastor Mark, won't you pray for me? During the service, I called Jackie. I said, honey, come over here and pray for her. No, no, I don't want her to do it. I want, I want you to do it. I said, whoever I place in charge is me praying over you. Amen. That's right. Anyone that's under me, ministering under me, is me. And that's the way you got to look at it. Amen. Because most, pe most people will jump on somebody, that, the underlings. Amen. And they don't realize when they're jumping on an underling, they're jumping on me. But they don't think that way. See, your mind's got to be renewed. They don't think that way. <clears throat> Well, let me jump on this sister. <clears throat> well, I'm the one that put her in charge. <clears throat> so if you're jumping on her, you're jumping on me. <clears throat> but they don't know that. So because most people would never face me up front and say, well, I just don't agree with this and that and this. <laughs> well, they, they, most people sit out in the group, hallelujah, yes, amen, brother. <laughs> and all the time they're, un they're undermining because they're not listening to those that are in charge. <clears throat> Isn't that right? right. Margaret, you're, you're very anointed when you do communion. And so the people you have do it. But you're, that, that is your spot. That's what you've been given. So when you do that communion and the anointing comes on you, if they don't recognize that, oh, I want to hear Pastor Mark do it. We don't want to hear Mark. You are me. The minute you get up there to do that communion, you, be, you become what we are. Well, you're that all week anyway. You're that all the time anyway. But... <laughs> That, 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 I'm talking anointing-wise now. I'm talking about anointing. <clears throat> Lift your hands up and say, Father, touch us. Father. <clears throat> say, we need it, Father God. <clears throat> For, finish reading 17. 13 and 17. <clears throat> Obey them that have Start the... Start at the top and read again. That thing's worth reading again. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls as or they your must... your soulish realm, the soulish... Pastor Mark, my, my emotions are running wild. Why? Well, when somebody's praying for you, usually your emotions, you can keep pretty much in check. Finish it. As they must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for it is unprofitable for you. Oh, that's good. That's good. <clears throat> Obey your teachers. They have rule over you. Now say this with me. Say, delight myself. <clears throat> I have to delight myself in God. I have to delight myself. It has to be a joy to do it. Not grievous, but a joy to do it. 
Hebrews 3.18, he, he's never changed. He's always the same. And to whom swear he that they should not enter into... I'm sorry, 13.8. I'm sorry, 13.8. <clears throat> kind of had them backwards. Should have put the one over in front of the three. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Somebody say, thank you, Lord, for being the same God. <clears throat> the God I serve, the God I love. <clears throat> All right, now just for a minute, I'm going to close your eyes just for a second. Every eye closed just for a minute. I want you to think about this. Remember, when I'm preaching the Word of God, I have ears. I'm listening. When I'm preaching the Word of God, I'm saying to myself, what can I check? What can I change? <clears throat> what can I do? Your Word is always alive. What that means is, is God's Word is always alive. So when I'm ministering the Word of God, it's always alive. It's always alive, so it's always doing something. It's always doing something. It never ceases to, do, to act. He said, my Word goes out of my mouth. And goes and performs exactly what I told it to perform. <clears throat> so he says, I, since I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever, I can change it. <clears throat> Keep your eyes closed. A man comes up to me one day, he says, Pastor Mark, I'm going to fill out an application <clears throat> for a job. He said, the last three applications <clears throat> has not worked. And I said, well, let's ponder that. Why did they not work? I don't know. I put all 27 jobs that I've had in the past on the application. No stability. <clears throat> he says, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. <clears throat> I can change it. I can change it. It's much better for you to be good. The goodness of God leadeth to repentance. It's better for us to be good to a taskmaster than it is to act like they act. Because the goodness of God leadeth to repentance. <clears throat> leadeth to repentance. <clears throat> now just, I'm going to ask for, with a show of your hands, with every eye closed. Every eye closed. I'm going to ask with a show of your hands. The Lord showed me that there's a, a handful of people that's... I, this is a strong... Lo, not losing your faith, but you're really getting weak <clears throat> in faith. And you're going, oh. I want you to lift your hands up. Okay, now, I, you have your hands lifted up. I want you to come up to the front and stand here. <clears throat> Don't be shy. Come on up. <clears throat> Everybody in the room, point at them, please. <clears throat> Everyone in the room pointing. Stand here with your eyes closed, and if you can, with your hands lifted up. It's up to the body of Christ to hold you up. <clears throat> to hold you up. <clears throat> Minister to you. To hold you up in times of weakness. <clears throat> in times of weakness. There should be people in here that has already felt in the spirit what you're going through. We cannot strengthen or we cannot give you faith, but we can strengthen the faith that is inside you. And we just want to pray over you just for a moment. Father, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, <clears throat> you know the trials that we go through. <clears throat> you know everything that we walk through, Father God. And everyone in this room has been through trial and tribulation. Everyone in this room has lost someone, be it, it uh, by death, be it by uh, uh, marriage, be it by whatever. And Father, we want to come to you right now, Lord, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. And we want to pray over those that are in the front, Lord, Father, that feel they're getting weak in their faith, or they're maybe even questioning God. Should I be doing this? Should I be doing that? And Father, we are standing here, my wife and I, and everybody that's pointing at them. And we're going to believe, Lord, Father, that the answer will arrive this very day. <clears throat> the answer will arise this very day. 
that they will know what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. And Father, we pray over those that that, that, that did not touch what I just said. But they're being weak in their faith. And I know the area. And I'm not going to say it. I know the area. <clears throat> but Father God, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, that you would cover them, Lord Father, and touch them. And the power of the heavenly God would overpower them in Jesus' mighty name. And they would understand you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And everything that happens, Lord Father God, happens, Lord Father God, according to your will, not our will, Lord Father God. And all we have to do is recognize it, that you are in charge, that you're the leader, and all we have to do is walk the straight path. And not very to the left or the right, though we may get weak, Lord Father, in faith, mighty God. Our faith always arises and wins. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you praise, honor, and glory for it. And everybody standing here say, in Jesus' name. Father, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I know you have a will. And I'm going to follow that will no matter what takes place. In Jesus' name. <coughs> Amen. <laughs> Margaret, I'm ready for communion, sister. <coughs> I'm ready for communion. I'm ready for communion. <coughs> Fill our cup, Lord. That's all right, Pam. <coughs> When's your surgery, bro? When's your surgery? I couldn't even tell you when it is. <coughs> Let me get this water out. <coughs> what Pastor Mark had said about family, I did spend time with my family. The ones that was here this morning when we opened prayer knew, but I was with my family, my biological family, but I miss my church family. And last Sunday, I was at my brother's house, and we was getting ready to leave. And it was 11.30, and I was like, they're in praise and worship. <laughs> and my family was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, they're in praise and worship. But I, I missed everybody, and we I'm glad too, to be sister. back. <clears throat> and I, I thank God for you guys. So, if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you may come up now and receive you guys communion. Hear what she just said? She was on vacation. And last Sunday, she looks at the clock and she goes there and prays and worship right now. D, you got the little ones with you? Is that a yes? <clears throat> hey, I like your new job, man. <clears throat> switch, you switch companies, right? Yeah, you look like you're tired. <coughs> preacher man, preacher man. And <coughs> <Woo>! <laughs> hey, when's Diane coming back? She did, is she all right? She had her tassels removed. <clears throat> Can she talk? <clears throat> they say when you get older and you have it removed, it's, that's a rough surgery. <clears throat> but you know the presence is on her. She probably didn't even know it happened.
God chose us. He handpicked each one of us, but he gave us a free will to accept his son. Yes, he did. As our Lord and Savior. Yes, he did. Each one of us who are holding this bread and this cup are to have confessed that Jesus is Lord and believe that God raised him from the dead. We are to have asked forgiveness of our sins and to be cleansed from all unrighteousness. That he is the only way to the Father and that he is the way, the truth, and the life. As we serve him, we have the assurance of eternal life. And by eating this bread and drinking this cup, we are acknowledging and remembering all he has done for us. By taking our sins, forgiving us, healing us, delivering us, that we may be free and made whole in this world. We are overcomers and victorious. And the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Amen. <clears throat> Not today. <clears throat> nope. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Jackie, I need you to do me a favor, honey. <clears throat> go, can you go back down there? Just real quick. I just... <clears throat> Come here, right here. <clears throat> just give me your finger. Just this finger. <clears throat> uh, walk right around this way. <clears throat> The lady that's right by AD right here sitting down in the brownish color top. <coughs> just lay your, just put your hand on her forehead there. <coughs> and pray over her in the spirit for a moment. You, you don't have to go out, bro. Stand there. You done? <clears throat> All right. Thanks. <clears throat> All right, guys. <clears throat> See you Thursday, man. <clears throat> don't forget your tithes and offerings.